So I want to talk about uh, Pokemon 2025's VGC season for the coming year, and I don't like it. Uh, I really do not like it, and I'm going to show you why. Um, first of all, we're going to discuss the fact that there's this. The fact that they have limited VGC's... Um, not just VGC, but TCG also. They now limit how many people can actually get to Worlds, which to me for a growing eSport is really stupid. Um, especially considering the fact that you have finally have like VGC getting to a place where like it could be recognized as like a big major league eSport and it was like slowly getting there and they were like getting the growth. Like, did I have expect it to happen this coming year? No. But like 2026, 2027, something like this is what I don't understand. I don't know who at TPCI said, hey, you know what? We're having like really good growth with VGC. What's like the best thing we can do? And they just said, yeah, no, let's just like straight up kill the eSport, kill any motivation for, you know, new players to like really push for an invite to Worlds, really get involved with the scene. Let's just completely obliterate all hope and make it like an elitist only only people who can afford to like speed run events can actually manage to get an invite and that's it it's closed off doesn't matter what you do on top of that um there's this they just straight up said no to like my friends and myself despite the fact that i was sort of like in the middle of talks on like getting the professor program running here and making things happen because like i actually wanted to you know do this I was gonna, you know, make VGC events. I was gonna do a lot of fun stuff, but they said, nah, we're just we're just completely cutting out the Middle East and South Africa this year. And uh, the only way you guys get a world's invite is if you manage to somehow win like an international uh, championship before the uh, 75 uh, master slots are filled for like everything. I don't even know if that, like, that is plus. Like what happens if like one of my friends or like Enosh or whatever goes to like, you know, you know, Enosh or D lose if they go and like win a, you know, international championship in like, I don't know, London or something. And because they're based in the Middle East, do they just not get an invite to Worlds? How does that work? So like, that's already, that's stupid to me. And I, I'm working on getting them to revise that because that's already awful. But the fact that they're like just straight up killing the game for that is dumb to me. Also, when you take into account how much it costs to go to these contests, how much to, to just to go to these competitions, like the international ones, they're expensive. They're not cheap. And then like, that's not even including like the travel and everything else. So to make matters even worse, they also make the prize pool pathetic. Like, can I just point out how sad this is? Look at this. What is what is that prize pool? Six thousand for a regional. Fifteen that fifteen hundred fifteen thousand for like no, this is what pisses me off. My point is is what pisses me off is the world champions one. Like, even this, like, okay, but like that's all you could manage for a prize pool. Also, not only to mention, you also don't get anything if you're like in 30, like up to 32, like 30 30 second place. Like you're just What's that? It's the Worlds. Don't you want people to go to the World Championships? Isn't that supposed to be the biggest event of the year? So now not only that, they limited it and they ruined the prize pool also. It wasn't good before, but now it's certainly not good. Now it's like worse. To give you an idea of how much bigger like the prize pool and like other esports is, like it could go up to like, you know, a couple million dollars, like two, three, six, I think is like the highest a esport has ever had for a prize pool is like six million dollars. Do, do I expect them to put six million dollars in a VGC? No, but, you know, I'd say at least a million because it's not even a drop in the pocket of TPCI's funds. Again, Pokemon is the biggest multimedia franchise. 
the fact that they don't treat their eSport as such is sad. And yeah, I get it. VGC isn't like the big money maker. TCG is. But even if Keith, even TCG's prize pool is pissed by comparison. Oh, wow. Another whole $20,000. whoop de doo for first place. Considering how much TCG makes, you know, Pokemon, I, I, I'd assume they'd like raise that at least by double. Like it's it, it it's sad. It's sad. So now they're just cutting out more regions. They're cutting out that the prize pool has gone to crap and still remains crap. And they're not pushing for further growth. It's like that meme. You know the meme. Where's the meme? This one. The company meeting meme. <sighs> company meeting meme. Hold on. It's this one. This one. So it's like here. So it's like here vgc is growing at an alarming rate we're actually making progress at making this a great big esport what do we do oh i know let's completely you know ruin everything for people let's like like lock out you know vgc stuff let's do this let's let's like make everyone upset by not letting you know the newer players have any motivation to play uh, and this guy's just like oh you know how about we actually like i don't know expand the prize pool and like allow the professor program to be used in more regions and like make tournament hosting easier to set up and you know just you know make it an overall better experience and have bigger venues that can host more people that's that's what happens so yeah, I, I don't understand what the heck they're doing. I don't understand why they'd just say, oh, yeah, 20. Like, obviously, I think due to all the backlash, they're probably going to, like, undo all this for the 2026 season. Hopefully with the, you know, possibility of uh, the next Pokemon games being a thing, because I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to stand, like, you know, restricted meta for that long. I don't know what like their ultimate plan is here, but I don't I'll I'll like it. OK, I think it's bad. I think it, I think it's pretty poopy. Um, and personally, what I would do going forward, obviously, like completely throw this whole system in the toilet, just get rid of it. Go back to what we were had this previous year and make it better. And on top of that, put more money in the damn prize pool. I don't know what's with this. Like, come on. Not only that, the other thing they have to do, also, going forward in Pokemon, um, whatever next games are, something to lower IVs. They need to have an I They also have to just completely... If you want to have, like, the IV grind... the uh, Sorry, like, the EV grind for, like, in the middle of the game, fine. But, like, at the end of the post game. When it no longer matters, just have a, like an editor or something or just make it like easy to get vitamins. That's the other problem I have with like Sword and Shield is like getting items to get the stuff. Well, yes, it's def definitely a lot easier than it used to be. It's still an annoying slog. Like just eliminate the whole hurdle there. It's it's stupid. Add an IV that an IV lowering item so people don't have to reset for like minimal IVs for like attack and speed because I don't want to reset for like Ursa Luna for four days again. That was awful. I don't want to have to reset for, you know, I have four days I got lucky, but like I don't want to have to do this. Like, give me an item. I can catch the Pokemon. I don't care what its nature and IVs are. I can change it all later. Accessibility. That's the one thing in game. That's what I would change. Then I would add bigger prize pool because this is absolutely pathetic. And I would just completely get rid of this whole system. This whole system is horrible, horrible. It's exclusive. It's elitist. It's dumb. And it doesn't and it doesn't allow for growth. It's a very bad strategy. This is this, this is bad. Also, for the love of God, let me get access to the professor program so I can start hosting stuff, you know, at uh, the Nintendo store. And we also have like card shops and other things. And it'll, you know, it's good. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, Middle East, Africa. Oh, they're having bad problems right now. They're having bad problems because, yeah, hi, I live here. I know what it's like. And I'm not going to dive into it right now on this video. But yeah, that's um, that's. Two steps forward, five steps back. 
<laughs> this isn't even a step forward, all right? This is just straight up. This is just, this is five steps back. This is five steps back. There wasn't even any progress. Go straight to jail. Do not collect $200. Do not pass go. It's just, this, this was, I don't know who authorized this, but, um, as the former president of the United States once said, you're fired. <laughs> this is, this is, this is, uh, oof. yeah, anyway, I just wanted to rant about this, um, I'm going to go back to playing Elden Ring now. <laughs>